Hello guys, uh, in this uh, tutorial I will show you how to uh, deploy an Angular 2 Plus uh, application inside um, IIS. Um, I will use this uh, application that I did uh, in the last presentation. Uh, God, that just do this to show the concept. Um, first, um, you must have IIS installed. If you don't, uh, you go to the panel, control panel here and programs and turn windows features on or off click here let's expand this and we will choose internet information services check as you can see this are all checked except these ones say OK and let's wait now uh, we have uh, Windows completed the requested changes so we have I suppose IIS here, Internet Information Services Manager. Click. Um, it will open. Just wait a second. And almost there. Yes. We have here Internet Information Services manager oh first um, we need to compile the angular application first so let's close this um, you go to the root of your application and shift right click and open PowerShell Windows here or CMD um, and now we can uh, say something second mm. ng um, build minus minus prod hit after this um, this process, uh, a folder called dist will be created inside the root of your Angular project. Let's wait. Now that um, the build operation has finished, uh, we have this distribution folder with these files yes these files are your project um, I recommend you to copy this folder and in set in another location why? Um, because if you um run this application on dev mode from here if i say for example ng serve minus 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 open um this will recompile the the application and will delete this folder so um i put 
let's close this and let's close this I put the folder with the build project here in the desktop now let's set uh, the site in IIS so in the uh, folder sites we click right click and add website uh, we call it my angular 2 plus website and physical part is uh, in the desktop dist ok um, the ports can be 8200 and uh, start website immediately ok and now we have our Angular 2 uh, here. If we go to if we open the, the browser set as default and write local host no local host 8200 and go to the site let's see what happens uh, we, we've we got an error um, you don't have permissions to to access this, this website um, to do to resolve this problem we go here to my angular 2 plus website and select basic settings um, if we go to the pass-through authentication we have these test settings button we click here and we see this cannot verify access to the path C blah 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 um, we must first uh, give access to this path so sorry we go to connect as and specific user and set in my case can be all tech and the password um, this can be uh, any user of your computer you can create a user or you can use your own um, settings to to um, your credentials to enter to the your computer um, click OK and OK again and if we go here to test settings we already have access to um, with this <coughs> with this step we are saying that um, our application have the same access um, credentials as us um, this application acts like uh, like me as okay um, if we go here to the browser again and refresh we have our um, Angular 2 um, application running um, just one note um, I in this video I will not um, show you uh, this problem because this is a, a very very simple application but um, if you have an application that uh, access um, made uh, some request to a service, a web service or 
um, connect to a database or something else um, that operations will broke um, why? because you will need uh, another step inside of this folder you should have a web config file inside the root and this web config should be la something like this uh, edit oops you should have uh, this web config file inside the root of your folder of your project so uh, your application can do more complex stuff like um, accessing uh, a database or, or a web service not just uh, static um, web pages okay uh, I, I will um, I will set in the um, in the description a link for uh, this uh, file for you to download if you need it okay I will close so for the record um, what will what we had to do is or was uh, install internet information services uh, second build the application uh, going to the the root of the application shift right click and open powershell we you need to do ng work please ng oops ng build minus minus prod to build a uh, production uh, files after that you have a dist folder and you can add that dist folder with right click on sites add website choose a name choose a physical path and give a port to your site click OK um, before that you can in this panel set the the user as this application will personificate um, you set here in the credentials if you forgot to set the credentials no don't worry you can go here to basic settings and uh, test the settings and connect as set the the credentials for your application um, after that you have a website running on IIS uh, on local host 8200 because was the it was the the port I choose to to this website for uh, more complex websites don't forget that you must have a web.config file with this stuff inside it okay so I will um, give um, I will put a, d a link in the description for you to download this uh, this file um, it's it's everything for now uh, thank you for watching and um, have fun with this bye